All right, you guys, second day, part two of section 5.4. So we're still in 5.4. So far, you guys have learned how to add, subtract, and multiply complex, complex, <laughs> complex numbers, okay, when they're of the form A plus BI. And what I need to do is get you guys being able to divide complex numbers when they're in the form A plus BI. Um, to get you there, what I need to do is remind you guys how to, where's my pen? Oh, it's just not showing up as a pen. Okay. It's how to FOIL. And so when I FOIL these, you got x squared minus 4x plus 4x minus 16. And I know that looks like 9, but my 4 is usually closed. Can't explain it. Notice this middle they're opposites. So you have x squared minus 16. Doing it for this one, you'd have x squared plus 9x. See if my 9s look like 4s. Um, minus 9x minus 81. Once again, the middle cancelled out. Looking at this one, 9x squared minus 15x plus 15x minus 25. Once again, the middle canceled out. So what I'm hoping is that you guys can be a little bit predictive, and we've done this type before. This is called the difference of square pattern. Difference of square pattern. Or squares, perhaps it's plural. Difference of squares pattern. Um, something squared minus something squared. Something squared minus something squared. It's something squared minus something squared. Well, look and see where it came from. You need to be able to look back at this and go, hey, it came from, they're both identical, but one's a minus, one's a plus. One's a plus, one's a minus. So when you see this, foiling is a waste of time because the O and the I are always going to cancel. So why not just multiply the first and the last? And you're done. Why go through the work of the O and the I? Perhaps another way to say it is square the first thing minus square the second thing. Okay. These are identical. One's a plus. One, okay, they're not identical, but they're identical in every way except one's a plus, one's a minus. So I'll square the first thing. Come on. Square the first thing. 9x squared minus 4y squared. These are not, so don't get fooled. Don't don't extend this past beyond past and beyond what the pattern is. They have to be ones a plus, ones a minus, everything else is the same. These aren't ones a plus, ones a minus. So you would just foil that and bring together like terms. So when they look like this and there isn't a variable, don't pass it out, don't hold your breath until it goes away. They're identical, but one's a minus, one's a plus. So square the first thing minus square the second thing. Now, some of you all may feel a little nervous about squaring the square to three. It's just three. So it's four minus three, which is one. 25 minus two. So the answer is 23. So that would be nine minus seven, which is two. Now, some of y'all may be feeling really skeptical at this point, so if you want, I'll go ahead and, and actually FOIL that out to show you that it works. So first is 25. Outside would be plus 5 squared root of 2. Inside, minus 5 squared root of 2. And then minus the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2. Again, those things are going to cancel. 25 minus 2 is 23. Okay, now why do you need that? Oops, make that go away. Okay, this is why you need it for these. I want to make sure that you guys haven't forgotten where we've been before we continue to go forward. This would be 12 over 2 cubed. I need the bottom to be 2 to the 4th so everything comes out, so I need to rationalize it by multiplying by the square root of 2. 12 square root of 2 over, slowing it down, 2 to the 4th. It's a square root. 2 goes into 4 twice. 
So you get 12 squared to 2 over 2 squared, which is 12 squared to 2 over 4. That reduces, so you get 3 squared to 2. Okay? Um, here, if you can reduce, make sure that you always do. So you get 3 over the square root of 8, which we just did a square root of 8 one, so it should be pretty simple. Q cubed, so you multiply by the square root of 2. So you get 3 square root of 2, and you guys know from the previous problem, that's going to come out as 2 squared or 4. So this would be your final answer. Now all the rest of these, you need to see that they're different whether there's a square root on the bottom or whether there's an i on the bottom. The point being that there's an adding or subtracting on the bottom. To do that, this is what you need to do. You need to multiply by, whoops, that one doesn't work, multiply by what's called the conjugate. If I gave you 3 plus, sorry, 3x plus 5, its conjugate is 3x minus 5. If I gave you 2 plus 3i, its conjugate is 2 minus 3i. They're conjugate pairs. Conjugate pairs cause the difference of square pattern to happen. Conjugate is spelled C-O-N-J-U-G-A-T-E. Conjugate. Okay? So what you multiply by is the conjugate. 2 minus the square root of 3. 2 minus the square root of 3. The top, this multiplies to both things. So I have 10 minus 5 squared to 3 over, and the difference of square pattern takes in. 4, oh, sorry, I'm stammering here. 4 minus, and then you square this, is 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. So your answer is 10 minus 5 squared to 3, because the bottom's all over 1. Trying it again on this one. Multiply by the conjugate, which would be 3 plus the square root of 5. Holy cow. So, you'd get 12 plus 4 square roots of 5 over, and this is the difference of square pattern, 9 minus 5, which is 4 which gives you 12 plus 4 squared is 5 over 4. And remember, when you cancel, it has to cancel in both terms. So you'd have, well, let me back up and write it this way to illustrate a little more what I'm saying. 12 is being divided by 4, as well as 4 plus the square root of 5 is being divided by 4. So you get 3 plus the square root of 5. It has to cancel with both pieces. Now that you have i, it's you still multiply by the conjugate. So that would be 1 plus i, 1 plus i. You want to force the difference of square pattern to happen. The top is 7 plus 7i. Seven the bottom, difference of square pattern, so you square the first thing, minus square the second thing. And the kicker here is, remember, i squared is negative 1. So the bottom, 1 minus i squared, is 1 minus a negative 1, which is 2. So your final answer is 7 plus 7i. Seven and because I have an i, I have to split it, to write it in a plus bi form. If I leave it, whoops, 7 plus 7i seven over 2. I know nothing cancels. I get that. It just isn't written in A plus BI form. You actually have to split the fraction into two parts. So 1 plus 2i is the conjugate. The top is just 1 plus 2i because it was multiplied by 1. Um, difference of square pattern. Square the first thing minus square the second thing. i squared is negative 1. So 1 minus 4 times negative 1 becomes 1 minus a negative 4, which is 1 plus 4, which is 5. So the bottom is 5. So your answer is 1 over 5 plus 2i over 5. Okay, looks like a mess. Whoops, looks like a mess. Now let me extend the page. 
Okay, when you have imaginaries and square roots, it doesn't change how to get the conjugate. 3 minus i square root of 2 is the conjugate. The top, 9 minus 3i square root of 2. It just distributes in. Remember, it can't distribute inside the square root. And now you just do a different square pattern. Square the first thing, 9 minus. Now you need to square i square root of 2. Well, if it bugs you, write it out. i times i is i squared, which is negative 1. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. So you have minus 2. It becomes plus, And then you have to split it because it involves i. The bottom's 11. So you have 9 over 11 minus 3i square root of 2 over 11. Okay. The conjugate. 2 minus i square root of 3. The top is 10 minus 5i square root of 3 over. Square the first thing. 4 minus square the second thing. I times the square root of 3 times I times the square root of 3 is negative 1, because that's I squared, times 3. So minus 3 becomes plus 7. Well, okay, yeah, 7. So 10 sevenths, whoops, minus 5I squared root of 3 over 7. I started to write plus. Okay. Now here, what makes that a little tricky is you need to rewrite it to pull this out as i. So negative 2, 3, minus, and that negative pops out as i. i squared of 5. So your conjugate is 3 plus i squared of 5. 3 plus i squared of 5. Now distribute this in. Negative 6 minus 2i squared of 5 over, and the conjugate says square the first thing, 9 minus I squared is negative 1, 5 squared of 5 squared is 5, so minus 5, which gives you 14. So negative 6 over 14, let me change that, over 14, uh, let's see, minus 2i squared of 5 over 14. And the only thing that's going to happen here is that there's a 2 that's going to cancel out of both of these. So minus 3 sevenths minus i squared of 5 over 7. Now let's say this was a 3. Just play a game for a second. Nothing would cancel here, but it would cancel there, and that's totally okay. Now there wasn't a 3 there. There was a 2. So yes, it does cancel. Okay, and I think that's the end. Yep, so there you go.